One of Donald Trump's longtime buddies, a casino mogul uh, by the name of Phil Ruffin, he's the owner of Treasure Island Hotel and Casino, as well as half of the Trump International Las Vegas Hotel. He's saying that he's doing good. I mean, yeah, the <laughs> casinos are closed. I mean, sure, he's still got some operating costs and that's kind of expensive, but he can shut down for like 20 years, according to him. And he doesn't have to worry about any of that nasty government aid, <laughs> except he's a liar and I'll tell you why. So he said the following, we have zero income coming in and a lot of expenses, but we don't plan on taking any loans. That's not just no, that's hell no. I don't want their money. If you don't need the money, don't take it. We have plenty of cash. I could go 20 years, maybe. Now, keep in mind that he actually furloughed the vast majority of his employees. He furloughed 4,400 out of 5,500 employees. Uh, the union representing these employees had to fight and negotiate to at least continue their health care coverage while they're furloughed. So they luckily did get that concession. But when this Ruffin guy says that he doesn't need the government aid, keep in mind that like we are still subsidizing his business. And we're doing so through providing the furloughed employees the stimulus check, which he seems to be in favor of. He says of these employees, hopefully they'll get a $1,200 check soon. This mm -hmm. guy's disgusting. And then for employees who end up filing for unemployment, you fired them, right? Or furloughed them. I'm not sure if you qualify if you're furloughed, to be fair. Um, but if any of your employees uh, now have to rely on unemployment, that's government aid that we, the taxpayers, are providing because you decided to let them go and you're refusing to pay them. If you have all this money where you can stay shut down for 20 years, why don't you pay your employees? Mm -hmm. It seems like, you know, we, we were talking about, I think on Wednesday, we were talking about how uh, the rich are starting to worry that there might either be some sort of socialist revolution or perhaps a violent revolution. They're worried about that because of um, how uh, income inequality has grown. This guy seems to be like, yeah, let's let's see if we can make that happen. You know how much money I got? I can go 20 years. I don't even care about this. Hope you enjoy your $1,200 check, huh? Maybe get a sandwich or two. I'm going to be fine. I could go decades and be like, honestly, he seems to be like goading people into creating him effigies of him or whatever. I don't know. And, and honestly, I don't even know that it's true. He says, you know, I don't it's a it's not just a no. It's a hell no. I don't want their money. All of that. Maybe, maybe. But I also know what was it like three days ago? Uh, Charlie Kirk put out a statement saying, you know, my organization, we could have gotten like $1.2 million, but I didn't want it because I'm independent. Oh, and like a day later it came out, no, they, they applied for the money. Oh we don't know if God. they were, of course. we don't know if they were rejected or if they just decided after applying, you know what, no, uh, we take it back. But they definitely applied for it and then put out a statement saying they would never take it under any circumstances. And now we don't know that this guy is as phony as a Charlie Kirk, that is a very high bar to pass, but I don't just take his word for it that he's not getting any bailout. Oh, I, I agree with you. And we'll look into it to see if he applied. But what we do know is on one hand, he's saying like, I am such a competent business owner that I can go 20 years like this and it'll be fine. I'm not, I'm not stressing about it. On the other hand though, he's urging, he's urging businesses to open up as soon as possible. He mm -hmm. was quoted as saying, we're trying to get open as fast as we can. No one's hurting worse than we are. Our losses are huge, and that's okay. That's part of the deal. The government shut us down, and our people understand that. So on one hand, he's like, no, no, I'm cool, I'm cool. 20 years, not a big deal, not a big deal. On the other hand, he's like, we got to open right away, right yeah. away. I mean, <laughs> we're okay, but we got to open. Like, I, I, he is a phony. He is a phony. Yeah. But unlike Charlie Kirk, he actually did build something. Whereas Charlie Kirk is just a paid propagandist and hasn't even managed to graduate college. Like he hasn't really, done anything. Is that true? Yeah, it's true. Oh. He's very sensitive okay. about it. Yeah, well, don't ask yeah. him. Um, I mean, but luckily yeah. he does live like a capitalist every single day. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.